Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. I'm gonna get right to the point. You know there's shortages, you know there's financial problems. Uh, this is first-hand accounts from people that uh, watch these videos. So I wanna thank you. Some of the people I didn't respond back with anything, I am sorry. I appreciate your information. Uh, I know all the other subscribers do because this is real information to uh, it should motivate you to keep prepping it. it should motivate you if you aren't thinking of something and you see oh there's shortages there and you have to buy something to finish a project that you go out and get it or at least get it ordered so let's get right into it this is in the south family dollar uh, majority of their medicines are very low especially Tylenol and children's medicines they're getting a lot less trucks in. It looks like uh, they used to get like five, they call them U-boats, and now they're down to two. So major less traffic of supplies and stuff for to sell. Uh, home offices changes the prices at night, but they no longer send the price change stickers because they can't keep up. Bluebird, a bus company, laid off over 100 people because there's no parts to build buses. Let's switch to an ambulance service in Alabama. Uh, they were restocking ambulance and they're being denied some medicines from the hospital, like cardiac medicine, diabetic medicine, um, because there's not enough for the hospital, so they're not putting it on the ambulance. This is a plumbing and HVAC heating and air in Florida. The guy's been doing it for 12 years. He says heaters are up uh, 40%. PVC has tripled over two years. Uh, Generac, standby generators, 24 month lead time. Commercial rooftop equipment, HVAC, 26 plus months. Backflow preventers and other things for commercial buildings, 26 plus weeks. Um, so that doesn't bode well for the construction field. Uh, also said that because stuff ain't coming in, they don't have stuff, jobs are stopped. A lot of people sent me this. There was a lot of pay problems, be it uh, using your card, um, a lot. It was unique. I, I didn't really track it on a map, but uh, a lot of places couldn't take EBT, I think debit cards. So interesting. Uh, a fuel technician he works for a major gas station train and just basically part problems. Can't get parts. The parts they do get in are not really the right parts, so improvisation it sounds like. Um, a, a report that we only have 10 weeks of wheat left in the world. Now, granted, we're going to have a harvest very soon. But, you know, of all the problems in Ukraine and Russia, our harvest is not going to be that good. It's more food shortages. Stock up on food. You always need the food. You're not going to waste it. Buy what you eat and eat it. Western North Carolina, no, uh, bricks and block shortages. He named some of the blocks, but the basic bottom line is they can't take jobs. They're not taking jobs because they can't get block. So it's going to affect people. Layoffs probably will be coming. Canada, this is interesting. A Mercedes dealer, and I were told not to tell what even town they were in. So I don't know if it's all of Canada with their Mercedes dealers, but when you buy a new Mercedes, you've got to sign a waiver that says the electric parts might not be fixed because they don't have them. Um, also, the mechanical parts are very short. So you buy a brand new, very expensive Mercedes, and if something's wrong with it, you're out of luck. An irrigation supply distributor. Um, price increases were like every month, now it's every week. And some types of PVC glue, major price increases. Um, he said a lot of small contractors are going out of business, they can't, can't take uh, the drastic price increases. Let's switch over to a small hospital in Maryland. The contrast dye, very low. Also, they wanted uh, to people to know that blood donations are way down. They're low on blood. She said, encourage subscribers, if you could, donate. Donate blood. Walmart. This person works at a Walmart in a management position. Not as many deliveries as there should be to the store. Some days they have no trucks coming to big Walmarts. No trucks. Um, Walmart, an automotive center. Typically, they service about 40 cars, but now they're down to 15 to 20 because they don't have tires, they don't have parts, so they don't have things to fix people's cars. You know that's going to lay off. If there's nothing to do, they're not going to have mechanics sitting around. Uh, electrical utility, not enough transformers and other critical equipment to keep everyone working. Layoffs, layoffs, layoffs. Um, they said a major storm will just be catastrophic for some areas. 
residential solar contractor in Florida. He's the operations manager. He said between April to May, solar panels have gone up 19.7% for them. Aluminum rails have gone up 19%. Uh, they're short, a lot of equipment, so jobs can't get done. This is the largest radon company in the U.S. Material shortages and increased pricing. Radon fans back order till September. Two major sugar beet farms up in the north. Uh, weeks behind on planting. I don't know if that was weather related. They didn't say. Uh, and they've only planted about a fourth of what should have already been in the ground by now. Superintendent of a small water district up north. Project stopped. No iron pipe. 45 weeks for it to be delivered. Bill sent me this. Thanks, Bill. $4.89 a gallon for just regular good old gas. He didn't tell me what state, but he said this is as high as he's seen it so far. North, North Carolina State Law Enforcement. Trouble getting ammo for officer qualification. An RN in Texas. Um, major problems with supplies for doing labs for patients. That's sort of like a recurring thing. Also, a heparin shortage. Uh, they were told to ration it. Australia. They are also seeing the CT dye shortage. Um, and then in the memo they sent me was the main production is in Shanghai and they're being shut down. Um, so it's, it's sad that the production plant is in a foreign country. We should pass some laws saying anything that's vital for our national defense, and that would be national defense importance, must be made in the United States a sufficient amount to sustain us in case of a crisis. That should be a law passed. They should be more concerned about taking care of Americans than taking care of the world. Southern Illinois. Okay, people have been warned in this area that there could be uh, blackouts roaming blackouts that could last 15 to 30 minutes it could be all summer long and that's his information from the power company itself this person sent me they have a 2003 their mother does 2003 vehicle and no parts none in the supply houses so the mechanic actually had to go to a junkyard and find what he needed uh, it, it took additional time a lot more additional time for that car to get fixed New Jersey truck driver says that they're delivering ballistic walls. They're putting up 40 foot high ballistic walls around major substations in New Jersey. If anybody could find out, that would be awesome. This guy works 39 years in the business of underground mining industry. He's been all over the United States and even in foreign countries. 10 to 12 months waiting for parts. That could be parts for the mining facility to be using. Um, he said they have money, but money doesn't know no good if you don't have the supplies to buy he says large pieces of huge equipment no parts so they're stripping down some and cannibalizing to make others keep running he says the diesel costs and these shortages he's worried about his company staying viable so they could you know affect business and definitely will affect probably layoffs this comes from a nurse it looks like an IV fluid shortage and medicine no, this is from EMS. IV fluid shortage. They've been told on the EMS, do not use it unless you're necessary. A lot of times, if it's questionable, they just use it because that way you have a good way to get drugs into the, into the person in case they crash or, or need the drugs. You already have the IV flowing. So now it's no IV unless it's absolutely necessary. Ration it. This is from a fire protection company. Shortages of fire extinguishers and lead acid batteries for emergency lights and fire alarm panels. This goes back to public safety. Then, a uh, social service worker up north, they said they can't find workers at all. Um, they have raised the starting pay, but still nothing. They also said they have a massive envelope problem. They use the type of one that I guess has a window. It might even have a little piece of plastic. I don't know, but it's the window type envelope. Shortages, they need them. There was a few more, but I didn't include them. You get the gist of it. Major problems in supply logistics. This, I've seen, definitely these problems are going to create layoffs. It's already happening. People are already being laid off. Um, no parts. Can't do any work. And this is going from the bus company to even linemen. If, if you're trying to put in new sub subdivisions and you don't have what it takes, you, 
you can't put him in. So you don't need those guys. So continue to prep, continue to pray, and continue to be willing to help other people because there's a lot of people waking up. Um, you don't have to physically help them or you don't have to financially help them. You have to give them encouragement. You have to give them knowledge saying, hey, you need to start with water. You need to start with basic food. You need to be there for people. We don't know how long this is going to last. Um, and if these are friends of yours, you want them as friends. You want them to be prepared as possible. You don't want to say, man, I told you years ago to prepare. Sucker, you're on your own. No. We're going to need every friend. We're going to need every acquaintance. Um, we need people to be prepared so we can get through this. Thanks for watching.